Hey guys, so I'm coming on here to just share a little dream that I had, I don't know, a few days to a week ago. Um, I just shared this with another sister in Christ, um, and it was so fitting, like we were talking on this subject, and when I finished sharing my message uh, back to her, and we're just, you know, rejoicing how the Lord is, is um, just showing us things and uh, guiding us even when it hurts our flesh um, I felt like I needed to share this with all of you oh no I think my baby's waking up okay well anyway um, so in the dream uh, well let me give a backstory real quick so lately um, I've been feeling the Lord tell me not to go back to work now, I've been out of work since before I got pregnant with Zavin, because um, as many of you have seen my testimony um, on my baby before him, I had a miscarriage with uh, baby Calix before Zavin, and um, so I had left work then because I did, as many of you know, I did pest control, wildlife control, and I was working with chemicals, working on roofs, working with trapping and wild animals, and, um, and I couldn't do that kind of work, uh, being pregnant, because it's not safe for the baby or for me, so, um, I left work, um, I got, like, six months of unemployment, and then that was done, and then no income after that. So, you know, we've been pinching pennies and stuff, but, um, the Lord's been providing. Um, <clears throat> I got a little carried away with shopping. I'm not gonna lie. Confess that right now. I got carried away with shopping and, um, I'm still working on that with the Lord. Um, because we do have to be careful financially. Um, but all this to say a part of me has been wanting to go back to work because I was always a worker um, and a hard worker and I loved my job. I did pest and wildlife control. Well, I did pest control for um, about six or seven years and I did pest control and wildlife for seven to eight years um, and I loved it. Um, I made decent money, especially when I was a single mom. Um, had my own work vehicle I was able to bring home and not pay for gas. Like, it, it was a blessing for the time that I had it. And, uh, recently I was sad because while I've been out of work, um, both of my licenses expired. And they're a pain in the butt to even get to begin with because you go through very long classes just to get those licenses. Um, but nonetheless... My flesh has kind of been grieving it, but my spirit knows the truth. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I've been feeling lately like the Lord telling me not to go back to work. Um, I was going to try doing like a door dash and being like, okay, like, you know, I can just do that. Have the baby with me. I'm just picking up, dropping off food. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm giving people taxi rides or anything like that. Um, but I, you know, st started getting all that ready and I felt the Lord tell me, no. And I was like, really? Okay, no. No, no, no. Well, I had this dream uh, a week or less ago. And um, in the dream was this... Uh, one woman who used to uh, be at the daycare my two older kids went to and her and her daughter went there too. Her daughter's a little younger than Kateri. And they're not following the Lord. They're very new aged. Um, so there's that. So anyway, in the dream, I'm holding Zavin and I'm going to this place and this woman's daughter, whose name is Elena, she opens the door and um I walk in and the second I walk in with Zavin a rainbow snake comes and bites Zavin in the eye and I'm like freaking out and I leave and I'm like I gotta take him to the doctor and so in the dream I take him to a doctor and they give him a shot in his eye 
for whatever reason, and I think this is just, you know, the Lord showing me this, in the dream I went back a second time. So I go back a second time, and this rain, I, the second I walk in with Zaven, a rainbow snake coils around him entirely. And I feel like there was a third time, but I don't remember. All I remember was when this happened, I was like, oh no. And I grabbed the snake by the jaw. It was a little graphic, but I'm used to this stuff. So anyway, I grab the snake by the jaw and I rip it off and I slit its throat with my thumbnail and I toss it on the ground dead. So that was all I remember from the dream. <clears throat> now, um, sometimes the Lord gives me interpretations of dreams uh, and sometimes I have to pray about them, wait for the Lord to reveal them, go to people who have the gift of interpretation because um, again, we are the body of Christ. We're all given different gifts. Um, this dream, I felt the next day I had the knowing of what it meant. Um, I was reflecting on it. I was praying. And so I'm reflecting on it and praying. And I'm like, okay, okay, Lord, you don't want me to go back to work. But here's the message with the dream. So this rainbow snake represents a lot of the alphabet numbers I'm not gonna say it because you know this uh online place likes to flag people a lot but you know the alphabet letters that I'm talking about that go with that evil representation of the rainbow so I believe it represented that um as well as the snake bite itself could also I'm saying could also represent the you know what um and the whole fact that like I went back a second time and it completely coiled around him that was huge so the first time how it bit his eye I felt like that represented you know my baby would be seeing such evil he'd be around seeing it and it would affect him and what our babies and our children and even us what we see it affects us. Our eyes are, you know, windows, a doorway to the soul, and we need to be cautious about what we're watching, listening to, so on and so forth. So I feel like that's what that represented. Um, the second time I went, where it coiled around him entirely. Now, I'm not going to say I felt like that evil, all that representation consumed him because it didn't eat him, but it coiled around him, suffocating him and affecting him fully. So, that being said, I know this was a personal warning to me, but I feel like it's so much more than just me, because this isn't something happening in one area, this is something happening all over the world, and I feel like this applies to, excuse me, everyone all over the world. So, I know the Lord was warning me, don't go back to work, don't put him in a daycare, don't introduce him. Don't send him to a place where other people are watching him and they're speaking about evil things, showing evil things, acting out in evil ways. Um, possibly very soon. We don't know when. Uh, the, you know, what could be, you know, mandated or forced on babies and kids. Um, you know, I don't know if that'll happen while we're here or not, but... <sighs> nonetheless you know we should be cautious and seek wisdom with the lord and so all that being said if you feel like the lord's telling you not to work obey him and be cautious um if you can if you can don't put your little ones in a daycare um i know like, maybe a lot of you struggle financially, and I get that. Me and my husband, like, we're pinching pennies. I very much get that. We, you know, we're not well off. We're not even middle class. <laughs> um, but it's about obeying the Lord. And it's not about seeking comfort and riches in this life. If you need to get rid of things, get rid of things. If you need to... Um, you know, whatever you need to do, be obedient to the Lord.
and remember that you know we want our riches in heaven not down here so i just wanted to share that with you guys um and take it to the lord god bless bye